okay now let's discuss what are different attributes of your agent and how agent force really works and what are the different building blocks of agents like topics instructions and actions right so first let's start about uh, attributes of an agent right so here we can see there are five uh, attributes of an agent the first one is the role role is something which defines the job of your ai agent right so we we all have some roles defined into our uh, current job right so that uh, you, you just have to perform these tasks you just have to do these tasks right that is for what our role is right uh, suppose if you are a salesforce developer so your role is to your role is to work on salesforce related tasks right so that is what your role that is what your job right so the same way we also define role the job of ai agent while creating the custom agents right the second one is data so data simply defines that what uh, what data uh, what data or what knowledge your uh, agent can access right so let's suppose a customer comes to the ai agent and ask about their account record right so now the, the particular ai agent should have the access of uh, data right the the particular ai agent should have the access of their account object right so this is what data defines the third one is action so after completing all the task what action that ai agent can perform what what are they capable of right that is what define action then we have guardrails guardrails is the boundary of that agent right uh, that this agent cannot go beyond that boundary right that is what uh, guardrail is the fifth one is uh, channel where that agent is working right so we know that uh, any ai agent when we create ai agents using agent force they can be deployed to multiple channels right so what is your current channel of your agent right that is what define channel uh, whether it is working on uh, whatsapp chat or whether it is working on facebook messenger whether it is working on customer community portal whether it is an employee agent right so this is what happens and these attributes the complete agent force or agents works on the on the top of einstein trust layer so einstein trust layer is something which makes sure that uh, no data breach is happening and the data of the customer is safe and secure right so that is what einstein trust layer is we will definitely have a different video for einstein trust layer uh, in which i'll uh, explain einstein trust layer in detail more detail right now here is an uh, basic diagram that how uh, how we define an agent right so we see that uh, when you create an agent one agent can have multiple topics right so when you create an agent these are uh, these are the things you have to provide right in order to create that agent the first one is topic so you can create multiple topics or you can assign multiple topics to one agent right now one topic when you create one topic you have to fill some fields right so whenever you are going to create a topic you have to fill some fields the first one is uh, the first one will be title uh, it is not mentioned here but title is a field right and then we have uh, description this description is classification de description right so classification description is something which your uh, atlas reasoning engine will look for let's suppose one agent is having 50 topics right now uh, now a user ask one query right so how atlas reasoning engine will decide that which topic out of those 50 topics which topic to pick right so that is being decided by uh, classification description so classification description is something where you where you explain uh, the topic right that that what what that particular topic can do right the second thing is scope scope is something that what your agent can do right that if your agent can summarize the record if your agent can get the record that is what scope is right now or scope can also be a boundary that uh, it cannot go beyond that right then we have action now one topic can have multiple action right so you see if i in this diagram if there are multiple boxes it means one topic can have multiple actions one agent can have multiple topics this is how i i have created this diagram right now one topic can have multiple action means uh, let's suppose your atlas reasoning engine has decided one topic to pick right now in that topic there can be multiple actions what what actions are that we have to uh, 
we have to call this apex class we have to call this uh, flow we have to call this api right these are the action that what your agent has to perform after comp uh, after deciding which topic to pick right now the fourth one is instructions <clears throat> so instructions is something that that can be called as rules right the, the instructions are the rules that your ai agent has to follow right so let's suppose uh, i have uh, i have a topic uh, called as let's say give me a uh, like phone number right so now if a user is asking phone number of the customer right and i have defined the instruction that phone number should only be integer phone number should not be a text right not not be a, a normal string right now that agent has to make sure that uh, the phone the user the user is providing only integer phone number right uh, user is not providing any a b c d e right uh, so this is what instruction means that that are some validation rules or that are some rules that your AI agent has to follow uh, while taking the inputs from the customer right so I hope this is clear now actions can be of two types one is the standard and one is the custom right so standard actions are are the ones which salesforce has already provided so salesforce always provides us multiple actions which we can use now the, there are uh, there is also an option to create our own actions if if uh, our task cannot be happen uh, our, our task cannot be executed using the standard action you can always create your custom actions according to your need right and these custom actions can be just a second these custom actions can be apex action like uh, if, if you want to call an apex class let's suppose a uh, user is giving some input so based on that input if you want to call if your AI agent want to call the, any apex class you can create an apex action if you want to call flow you can create a flow action if you want to call you can also call apis uh, the external sites right and you can also uh, call some uh, prompt you can also create some prompt templates uh, right so this is how uh, an agent looks like uh, uh, this is how we can create an agent right okay let me show you a demo of these agent topics uh, topics instruction and action so first I'm here into my org I'll just go to setup uh, I'll just open my default agent 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 force agents. So let me just op open this agent force default agent and open in builder. So once you click on open in builder, it will just open your agent builder. Now, as I have said, that one agent can have multiple topics, right? So this is how it looks. So this is our agent, and this agent has multiple topics, right? now one topic can have description scope action and instruction let's see let's open one topic or now let's open this one for better understanding so this topic has description so see there is a name which is title when i said title that is a name right name then we have classification description let's see what it says an agent uses this description to determine when to use your topic in a conversation based on your user's intent, right? So let's suppose your AA agent is uh, AA is a, AA agent is uh, doing a conversation with uh, a customer, right? Now, based on your customer's intent, uh, based on your customer's mindset, your AA agent will pick one topic, right? Now, which topic he has to pick? Uh, it completely depends on what your classification description says right so you just have to you just have to make sure that your classification description is perfect and uh, it defines the perfect job of your uh, ai agent right and these uh, classification description instructions everything can be uh, into your natural language right you do not need to follow any specific tone right you can you can write these things in natural language let's say this topic is to help the user generate an output uh, generate an out of the box summary of a single record use this topic when the user is requesting see 
use this topic when the user is requesting to summarize a single record let's say if i if i am a customer and i am asking the ai agent to summarize my record right so that so that ai agent will pick this topic right this ai agent is not going to pick this general crm topic why because uh, it is not mentioned there the the classification description of uh, this topic says that whenever uh, use this topic when the user is requesting to summarize a single record right so this is how it works without any additional instruction and specific filtering instructions right scope scope is the boundary right scope is the job job role role right so this is what scope scope is now the scope says that your job is to provide a rich summary of a salesforce crm record you cannot go beyond that instruction instructions what what we discussed instructions are the rules uh, that your ai agent has to follow right let's read this instructions help an agent make decisions about how to use this uh, how to use the actions in a topic for different use cases for example ask an agent to collect clarifying information before running an action right so let's say if you want to if you want to fetch and record right so you will need uh, some information about that record right i cannot say it to a agent that uh, find me that record which record i have to uh, give some information right so that is what instructions means right so your a agent will ask you that which account you will say that account that which that account right so you have to mention that uh, give me an account uh, with the name yash right so now we have a name to pick uh, to select the account right so this is what instruction means these are the rules of your ai agents uh, here we can also set some example user inputs that uh, give me a quick summary of the record uh, like your customer can ask this type of questions right provide an overview of this record share in highlights of for this record so this is how it works right so let's say let us let's ask it the same question give me a quick summary of this record now let's see uh, what a agent will ask could you please provide the record id of the for the record you would like to summarize right so this is what rule uh, we have decided for this agent that the, what what is the rule that you cannot provide any account information without uh without having proper details without having proper user inputs right so let's see uh provide me account summary for let's pick an account edge communications see now once you have provided the name of the account it has provided you a basic summary of that particular account right so this is how it works instruction is what you cannot provide the data without asking proper inputs right so this is how it works okay so now i hope this is very much clear to you how ai agent works what are the attributes of ai agent and what are topics instructions actions right so i hope that is clear now